welcome to welcome one and all this is the peace dealer and this is another special topics video this time specifically tailored for the Pluto in Virgo generation ah a lot could be said about Pluto Virgo Pluto Virgo I believe is roughly uh, from the late 50s to the early 70s so we're talking maybe like 58 to 71 most of you have parents from this generation some of you are from this generation i would say like 30 percent of my client base that uh do consultations with are usually from this generation which is a complete honor um if you have parents I, my parents are, are from this generation mostly people born in the 90s uh have a parent born in like the 70s or 60s but this is a very crucial time for you. I have chills talking about this because it's really lit. As a Pluto Scorpio, where the Pluto Virgo is at right now is where we're headed. So, uh, kind of, you know, kudos. Especially for those of you in Pluto Virgo who are having your Saturn return right now. Because that's lit. But this video is really more so geared towards allowing you to accept this final stage in your life. Pluto is heading into Aquarius, and once you start to experience Pluto King Kunkas to oppositions, it's an exit plan strategy, if you catch my drift. So, the reason why I call this video The Reality Hackers is because the whole concept of having Pluto in Virgo such a pivotal generation once again it was this pluto generation that helped herald and it's not like pluto transiting that sign is what made it happen but documenting that as you know civil rights changes occurred in america and you started to see a greater advancement of how people in their respective political fields and, and, and countries started to radically establish to lead way into the 70s and 80s or whatever. I really just wanted to highlight, you know, civil rights and all the other crazy stuff that was occurring around them, like certain like civil wars that were going on in, in other countries as well. This has everything to do with the total transformation and change of reality as was known. The whole concept of having glitches in the matrix and really taking faith and spirituality and going at complete heads and sparking seeds of war. The 60s brought radicalization too when it came to charismatic movements, especially in Christianity. So it's not enough to just talk about Pluto being in Virgo. Most people with Pluto and Virgo had Uranus and Virgo, which is just like astronomically rare of a configuration. Pluto and Uranus conjunct in Virgo, opposite Saturn and or Chiron in Pisces with Neptune in Scorpio, which is just wild. But regardless, you're talking about a generation of individuals who are insanely psychic. And the reason why I need to kind of compare with other generations is because everyone is psychic to a very fairly, like, amazing degree. But the quality of supernatural abilities when it comes to this generation versus others is important to know because reality hackers in the Pluto Virgo generation are sworn to secrecy. They are very keenly receptive and unconsciously connected to this matrix, to the rules of the system, and to how this works. And so being super conscious, which most people in this generation outside of Sag's lack, does not entail showing what they know, especially people born in the 60s and 70s who actually came into their spiritual awakening pretty early okay um 
whereas people born in the late 80s, 90s are late bloomers, so they get it closer to their 30s. People in the 60s were born with their enhanced synesthesia, being able to just see into details. A lot of people in our generation are going crazy and wild seeing synchronicities, but you know, it, it, it was Jungian psychology that was already talking about it around then. They were, they, you, like, this, the reason why I need to kind of break it down like this is a lot of people in the Vir Pluto Virgo generation they actually act like they're not that psychic or they're they're enwrapped with like a traditional religion that on the surface seems like very backwards but that's their chiron pisces opposite the pluto virgo generation please keep in mind pluto virgo as well is responsible with uranus and science with the explosive advancement of scientific fields that went to war with all these pseudo-scientific religious claims from people. That opposition was fierce, which, you know, led into the 70s, which now brought in more classical scientists, sci uh, sci science w with Pluto and Libra. But Pluto and Virgo, we're talking about transformative quality in a shifting sign of reality that integrates the first half of the zodiac. Pluto Virgo, Pluto Libra are two of the most important generations of our time in this context. Those people born 60s and 70s because you have the Pluto Virgo generation which is ready to kind of exit because they, they have, uh, Pluto is, is in Taurus now making a closing trine, which is wild, a closing trine to your Plutos, Jesus Christ. This is the reason why I'm making this video and it's going to be a bit longer. Those of you with Pluto and Virgo are having a ninth house effect, which is getting you ready to ascend. You are not Pluto Leo. You are not Pluto Cancer. Pluto Virgo is at the precipice before they are next to the gateway of the gods, whereas your generation and the one after you was responsible to giving birth and setting the foundation for the leaders of the new dawn. Everyone born after 80s, is here because we're here to take humanity to utopia but the ones before us were here to build the structures so that we can get to this point it's just a little bit different for pluto virgo because you were born with the ability to tap so deeply into like the depth perception of psychology and how you connect with that and everyone in that generation is like that too so they share that influence but this not only allows you to see into experiences with like zoomed focus and just a sage wisdom that also allows you like prophetic dreams. It allows you to fundamentally glitch this matrix and incorporate it into your lifestyle as easy as like praying every day or going to work every day. And this is why people of this generation can popularize that whole notion of being like a regular person by day, but a super, uh, you know, psychic individual by night. Um, please forgive me if what I just said sounds like crazy, because I, I, I could have been more focused with how I said that. But I do want to emphasize that people who have if, if you ever read someone's chart and they have pluto and virgo there is an instinctual especially uranus there there's an instinctual like purposeful desire to take that virgoan energy and not express more than needed think about how virgo is like just precise it's not sagittarius it's like in your face pluto and sagittarius kids Anyone who's born from 2008 and, sorry, 1995 to 2008, they have Pluto and Sagittarius. They clash with the Pluto and Virgo generation. Pluto and Sagittarius is the, the generation that is leading us into the new dawn of light. So they're gonna manifest their abilities. They're gonna manifest geniusness, you know what I'm saying? High IQs like literal supernatural powers and show the world and be like yeah i can do this yeah chronicle the movie yeah chronicle was about pluto sagittarius kid yeah or pluto scorpion yeah i have powers and this is you know 
Archer leading humanity into now higher minded philosophical talk about wow we are more psychic than we could ever have thought holy shit blah 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 Pluto Virgo is not like that especially because around the 60s they were doing genetic tests on people and so what they realized is they show their superpowers they get kidnapped they get thrown in mental hospitals they get lobotomy like it's it was a whole different pain field and even if there even if there wasn't any consequences they're going to be literally opposite sag squaring it and be like nah we're, we're not gonna let you know we have superpowers and that was the whole culture too Pe people could know other people had ability to manipulate life force but it was all inferred and this is a lot about how people from that generation interact with the younger generation and it goes right under their nose or over their head but it's, it's a few people who catch it though okay so something to keep in mind if you have parents who are pluto virgos they can scan your energy they can read your mind they have like sage wisdom and secrets about you dreams that they'll probably never tell you until it's the right way to do this is less to do about the aspect and more to do with just the wisdom that comes with parenting children but that adds so much to it especially now if we keep into account that they have neptune and scorpio so the reason why i labeled this video the reality hackers is because your exit strategy out of this matrix involves ascension a lot of you are not going to die and i'm going to do case studies on this because if i was to actually experiment and record you know people who have pluto and virgo dying a lot of pluto virgos have died but uranus is now and i said pluto before and i was wrong forgive me i said pluto has now made a closing try no it's it's making an opening try but uranus is making a closing try to Pluto and this is huge because when Pluto was in Virgo Uranus conjuncted Pluto and now Uranus is in Taurus making a closing trine a lot of you are not gonna die even even if you die even if your body decomposes your experience of like leaving consciousness is fundamentally transformed a lot of you should you pass away you're going to have full control of your avatar and vessel you're not just going to be a soul that kind of it's kind of like in dragon ball z how like if you're pure of soul like you don't just have a soul you take your body with you you take your soul it'll literally be like your astral projecting and you have all your strength back because if you think about it pluto virgo uranus and virgo saturn and pisces chiron and pisces neptune and scorpio all of these are feminine energies these are energies you access outside of this dimension or outside a life of death especially the scorpio oh my gosh neptune and scorpio this is ridiculous so people born pluto and virgo have pluto trining virgo and capricorn right and then neptune is trining their neptune and pisces that is completion this is something that no matter what generation you're in once you've kind of lived up to 40 50 years you complete your ability to intuit you complete your ability to tap into the core of your being and that really just comes with the trine aspect people born in the 90s are having the sextile people born in the 70s are having the square well pluto virgo has now completed the full expression of their death psychology which I link Pluto to death psychology because it's really the method of how people are able to be aware of their unconscious responses. Pluto Virgo, which is highly neurotic and obsessive compulsive about it, but in highly efficient ways that have led to amazing advancements in health and nursing. The only thing here is though, Uranus that is trining Pluto and Taurus is giving you the keys to literally ascend out this matrix at will. Put it this way, we're definitely going to start to see life extending rituals and technology. And not only that, many of you are going to have the decision to choose when it's over for you, which is fundamentally different than any single generation ever. Once again, Uranus did conjunct Pluto in the 60s in Virgo and so we're finally at the part of the cycle where it's trining that original point and that trine from the ninth house 
is opening up a fundamental, undescribable reality that only you will be able to perceive. I mean, Pluto Sag will see it, won't understand it though. Pluto Scorpio will feel it, it will make sense to them, but to you, you will understand the meaning. And this is where a lot of you now, uh, from now until let's say 2026, you're going to really step into the crystallization of your psychic ability. Hold on. And not only the crystallization of your psychic ability, but really, really also retaining your youth and feeling like you're living a whole nother life. But not a new life, just another part of you. Another thing I'll say, because I didn't plan to make this this long, this is really supposed to be an intro, I'm gonna make a part two about, of course, like how this affects each individual side. But um, really just, you know, psychic mastery. Psychic mastery. Y'all are hands down the most psychically adept and evolved people right now. The younger generations are more powerful than you and stronger than you, but they don't have your experience and they don't have your wisdom. So even though they might be harnessing and, and notice stuff, you, you're here to subtly guide. No one knows that you're you're that influential like that because once again, having Neptune in Scorpio is a supreme position that I can't even tell you what it means. That's how supreme it is. And, and the way my energy is set up, I know things, clear cognizant. I can't even read Neptune Scorpio. That's a mystery that y'all will take with you forever. And it has a lot to do with the quality of your dreams and how it relates with this reality, how it's interrelated, what experiences you have in that realm versus here. But other than that, um, I hope this was clear. I hope this made sense to you. Uh, you're welcome to ask questions down below. In summary, all I'm trying to say is your ability to hack reality is at a complete state. And it's not really warping reality. It's just noticing glitches and experiences that you could completely use to change, filter, twist, whatever. Your ability to literally ascend out this matrix has fundamentally shifted your relationship with death and how you connect spiritually and finally welcome to paradise um this is definitely going to instantly just shift dynamics now that the the, the, the everything is set in place so you, you definitely do well to shift out of any fear jupiter is squaring this pluto aspect in sagittarius and that's really the trigger that's gonna allow you to, with Neptune opposing this, shift the way you look at reality based off of the innate abilities that held you through a lot of the experiences that made you you. And until next video. So it's Young Cobra, the track killer, terrorizing cities, MCs, Rapzilla. That's a no-hitter, put it all in a pitch. I'm always sick, so when I'm good is when I call in sick. Hmm. And my boss is always answering, thinking something soft. Then of course, I'm the antonym. You ain't coming hard, nigga, check your packaging. Take a look at what UPS had to wrap you in. It's bubble wrap, nigga, delicate handling. Flow like the Gulf Stream, you upstream paddling. Reggie Miller rappers could have swore that you had a ring. Nah, well, you must be doing better things. Tracks get abused, must lose feeling. Trust me, baby, I'm good, no villain. See, I stay in the cut like there's no healing. Cause my dogs don't give a fuck like there's no healing. No paycheck, but you know I got. 